Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 6 of Akudama Drives. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Huh, okay. I'm not having the greatest day, um, fortunately. <sighs> My aunt passed, and so, trying to be happy in this despair. I mean, but hold on. We, we know that's not gonna happen. <laughs> but, I mean... Oh, God. This could be Brawler's last episode, though. You know? I don't like that. I do not... And I am slipping. <laughs> I really don't like the sound of that. I mean, we can go back to last week and hell yeah, there were death flags in last week's episode and in the preview going into this week's episode, but... HA! <laughs> we knew it was gonna happen. And the fucking hacker, hacker's just gone. Don't know where the hell he's... Well, we know where he is. We don't know if he's dead, though. That's the thing. So, I'm still holding out hope in our little despair right now. <laughs> Just, huh. Please. God. I don't need no more despair today. Please, for the love of Christ. But it's coming. <laughs> huh. Okay. Damn, I thought you'd love by now. Because, you know, his pride, maybe. This is the Riona Riom Real Makota battle I wanted for V3. <laughs> hmm. Of course. What well, damn. But, um. Hold on! <laughs> you know she just gonna heal herself, right? I mean. Woo! D damn. Could I ain't gonna make Mega Me go out like that again, is she? I mean, really? Oh my god! <laughs> You gotta love him. He's a baby boy. Oh, damn. Damn, they really doing that. Mm. Hmm. 
No, I, I don't think... See, yeah, he fine. Oh, fuck. Well, I mean, you know, we can't really fix that up because... <laughs> Again? Are you going to try to do something this time, though? <laughs> Can we not? I mean, damn. Please don't take these kids. Yeah, but you're they're your sacrifice. Y'all don't really give two crafts about them. Everybody, oh my god. Oh my god. Y'all, I can't. Dude. <laughs> but we're not going to talk about murder because I mean murder. <laughs> Yeah, we all saw that. Yeah, because he'll slowly lose blood from that. Jesus Christ. Murder a damn. He just... <laughs> His boy. 
die. I love him so damn much. This fucking cat. <laughs> Oh, nice sponge. What? He got room for literally everybody but those two. You are so hard headed, but you know what? I like you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he he's definitely dying today. I mean He's given his life so much to do this. It makes the most sense for him to do it on his own and for him to go out this way. Oh, damn. We're just going hand in hand. Oh, he's so pretty. God damn. We about to kill a pretty man. Now. <laughs> My heart. I can't. I mean, we all knew he was fine, but... <laughs> oh! Feelings. I just can't with that voice like who would do something to me <laughs> oh fuck oh Yeah, but okay, hold on. Let's say you do go, but by the time you get there, he's already dying. What are you going to do? You can't... Uh, mm -hmm. This is his pride. It's exactly what he wants. I mean, he ain't a bad guy. I'm just saying, but shit. <laughs> They're gonna make me cry both over these. <laughs> I'm gonna cry over both of these two. Oh my god! Mm. 
<laughs> Y'all made me terrible for a kid, even though he ain't dead. Oh, that's beautiful. You still can't believe this is studio. <laughs> you know? Even though I don't watch that show, I mean, oh. I said, ain't it? Oh, come on! No! So you tell me thug dead too? Hmm? 
That's supposed to be Leon, even though it's not. What's up? But still, that's not right. Oh, my gosh. the hell? Okay. All right. Whoa, God, this episode. <laughs> this was a very emotional episode for me. Honestly, I was not expecting the ish. I, it, the death of Brawler, yes. Because them death flags were there. The death of Executioner slash Ryoma from V3? No. I thought at least he was going to survive. But then at the same time, when um, Boss was talking to What's Your Face? I was like, yeah, slowly but surely. He is probably going to die as well. Was I expecting to cry today? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, you would think... Mm, God, no. How should I word this? Nah, I ain't gonna say that because because I care about these characters so much. Yeah, I'm taking them to heart. And because I love them and everything. Yeah, I'm gonna be a little more emotional than to someone if it was like how when I reacted to the very first season of Civil Gear. And this is big spoilers, but I'm not, I'm not gonna say who the character name is. But in the very first episode, someone does die. And I couldn't get those emotions out and cry over that character because I literally just met her. I was like, how in the world can I feel sorry for her getting killed when I just up and met her right then and there? I think if we got to know her a little bit more. Yeah. But, huh? So you're the only one who survived, right? A blade, like there's two blades there, right? Let me see. Your eye? Yeah. Your eye is gone. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, got cut. Thank God. The city of lost children. Okay. I get the fact of why Thug did it because he really liked Brawler, like, at the end of the day. I know... God, because a lot of people talked about this last week and they were like, if they kill Brawler off... People were going to be pissed at this show. I, I remember, I didn't see tweets, but I saw posts on Twitter about this. And people, because of the fact is, you know, um, he is the only black person in this show. And everybody was really, truly upset that if he did die, everybody, everybody would have been like, mm, and ish like that. But I am upset because I didn't want him or really anybody in this group to die, even though, you know... Best girl doctor dying left, right. Like, how many times has doctor died? This is now, what, three times where she's died and brought herself back to life no matter what? Because, I mean, she got cut right in. The, I mean, girl, I was like, mm, that's it. She gone. She is gone. And then the stab with, with the kid and then freaking 
murder, getting his legs cut off. I was like, bro, you know, you, you bleed and you die in too. Like, I mean, Executioner was literally killing characters almost like left and right. And I'm like, oh my God, like, damn, we literally about to end this show or really this episode with probably less than like four people, not counting the damn kids. But I mean, I, I don't know. I, I just, I hate the fact now that Brawler's gone because he was such an interesting character. And I mean, we can't, like I said, the same thing with Hacker. I can't put him on that list until we get something. But the fact is that both Brawler and, and Executioner were the first two to die. For Brawler, it's it's kind of a surprising, but not as for Executioner. Because, as I said, I assumed that Brawler was going to be there at the end. But because... I should have thought, and I should have said this last week, of my, you know, the knowledge of Danganronpa and how Kadaka writes the big buffy char buff characters, they usually will die, like, at the halfway point, almost close to the end of the damn series or the game and anything. But I was really just, like, that little glimmer of hope that I had, I was like, okay, no, Kadaka's gonna definitely change this. What's it, the dude from 999, his, um, his name, I thought they would have did, like, a be a little bit different, you know, because... Always the big buff guy <laughs> or girl always dies so fucking quickly, but uh, it's sad. I mean, this was a really, really damn good episode to just see how passionate both of these two characters were at the end. I mean, hey, I this is like I said, it was a fight that I would have loved to see it be three with Ryoma duking it out with Gonta, but I mean, you got to see it in this, you got to hear their VAs. Not as, you know, their V3 counterparts, but as two completely different characters getting to duke it out because that little moment in V3 is still one of the most fucking hilarious moments in that game. And no matter how many times, like, I play over or I watch somebody play over, I, I can't help but laugh. Because, like, Ryoma was like, I'm a dip. But, oh, God. I'll just say this is really gonna... It, it's already affecting Thug a lot because they were close and he really cared for him. And so him, you know, doing what he did to what's her face. Um, like, uh, what the fuck was his name? in Rampa too. I can't remember his damn name. Um, ultimate gangster him. Um, I don't know. I mean, is he going to take it out? Is that going to take it out on the kids? Possibly from that preview. Yes. But I still got some questions on like something tells me the, and you could tell because it was hella obvious with this episode. These kids were experimented on. I don't know what they were experimented on and why. I mean, well, of course, to protect this city because there could be more of them, maybe. Like, I don't know. I got no fucking clue. But it can't just be just these two little kids. There could be, like, they probably got backups to they backups to they backups to they backups to they backups. No matter what, they always have something else. So whenever we see who this person is who, you know, has to have these two rescued, we're probably going to see a whole bunch of kids. I mean, I don't know. That's all I'm guessing. But, yeah, this is a very... Damn good emotional episode, and honestly, I don't know if it'll be my favorite, I, I <laughs> but I think for an emotional episode, it's now number one. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode six of Akudama Drive. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode seven. Bye, guys.